The state comptroller serves as Connecticut's fiscal guardian, committed to help eliminate wasteful spending, strengthen budget transparency, deliver government services more efficiently, and address the state's growing health care crisis. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers and Comcast Connecticut Studio, and Connecticut State Comptroller Kevin Lembo joins Newsmakers. Welcome back to Newsmakers. It's great to be with you. Let's start, uh, first of all, long list of responsibilities. So let's start with explaining a little bit more about the responsibilities of the Office of sure. Comptroller. As you mentioned, the, the controller is the state's fiscal guardian. Uh, so that's the umbrella under which we operate. And under that umbrella, I pay the state's bills. Um, I buy health care for about 200,000 people every year. Um, administer the pension. It is. It's a lot of people and an exciting place to be, especially now where health care is top of mind for a lot of people. Uh, I pay the state's bills, uh, report out monthly on where we are with our budget, uh, and depending on what that number is, um, either making friends or enemies, uh, depending on whether it's a surplus or a deficit. And speaking of, you did recently announce that the state is going to end 2013 with a deficit. Uh, how large is that deficit and what are the factors contributing to it? So November 1st, I reported out that we would likely end the fiscal year at about a $60 million deficit. Uh, and that uh, is for a number of reasons. Uh, the revenue shortfalls, uh, so that is directly correlated to drops in the uh, employment market. Uh, the, some of the income tax numbers are generally off, sales tax numbers are off, and through those, uh, the combination of those tax issues, uh, revenue is down. Um, and on top of that, we have uh, increased spending in the Medicaid program, uh, which makes sense in a down right. economic time. Right. It's a social net program, a social safety net program that's there to provide health care for people. And so those numbers are up uh, greater than anticipated. So when your spending's up and your revenue's down, uh, it leads to a shortfall in the budget. And uh, the impact of health care costs on the state's overall economic picture, how would you size that up? Well, look, uh, like any uh, ongoing concern, whether it's government or uh, commercial, uh, health care is always a large portion of what we buy every year. So the state buys about uh, uh, three to five billion dollars, depending on what you're counting, uh, for in health care. Uh, it's probably 20% of our budget overall. And uh, how many people would that represent? Well, there's about 200,000 uh, state employees, retirees, and their family. There's about another half a million to 600,000 uh, people who have Medicaid. And then there's some other small programs uh, as well. Um, so, you know, when it's 20% of the budget, uh, when uh, you build a budget based on an assumption that it'll only grow at 2.8%, right. which is the way our budget is built now, and when medical infl inflation is twice that, um, you know, you, it's pretty easy to blow a hole uh, in your budget. Now, your office recently implemented the new health enhancement program. So what kind of results have you seen? Why do you think you've seen those results? It's an exciting program, uh, and I have to give credit to the governor and to the collective bargaining units, the state employee unions, uh, for coming up with an idea that ran counter-cyclical to what everyone else was doing. Uh, the program pulls people closer to health care instead of pushing them away. Uh, particularly people with chronic illness. Uh, and immediately we're seeing uh, some results. Emergency room visits are down, specialty care visits are down, and primary care visits are up. Uh, we were able to turn about $100 million, uh, back out of the account into the general fund last year. Now, one population you'd like to pull in to get some checkups would be men. And the Man Up program you personally started, and uh, it's encouraging men to pay more attention to their health. Why is that important? Well, we were looking at our numbers, and we were seeing that men, uh, especially before the health enhancement program, we're not getting the care uh, that they were supposed to be getting. Women have set the bar. Uh, they yeah. get their primary care. They're good at it. Um, and so we're hoping to bring men into line with women. And, uh, you know, maybe we can uh, have a, n a number of better years uh, of life if we do. And the feedback's been good for it. It's been excellent. Yeah. Well, I, I hope that that does because you and I both know we can, men can be a little stubborn about going to the doctor. Lots of excuses not to go. Right. All right, Kevin Limbo, State Comptroller of Connecticut. Thank you for joining Comcast Newsmakers, and thank you for joining us, too. I'm Nathan O'Leary. Until next time.